I miss the Miss Universe whereby we were so excited to see the girls winning, the girls partaking in these beauty pageants without any major dramas, without any discrimination, without a lot of things that were happening. IMG was one of those um, eras whereby I am like, I miss that era because that era was one of the best eras that we have ever had within the Miss Universe. Yes, Trump era was also one of the good eras of Miss Universe, even though there were things that we were not agreeing with, but we have to give credit where it's due as much as there were so many things that were required as a criteria of becoming Miss Universe and the inclusivity was almost not existing but when it comes to the current Miss Universe um, owners we are in a big shakes we are a big, in a big shakes we are doomed the Miss Universe um, the Miss Universe as a whole, the entire Miss Universe as a whole is doomed. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to yet another video. My name is Peter, all the way from South Africa. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. I see your comments and all of those things. And I am in that point whereby I need to answer each and every one of you. Um, I was a bit busy and um, the last video just took off like no one's business. And I was like, oh, so many, so many comments from people who are supporting this channel. And I need to do the honor of answering all of them. And I will definitely do so. If you did not get an answer from me, the, please know that I am definitely going to answer all those um, actual comments. So without wasting any more time, we are talking about N and the drama within the Miss Universe um, organization. So let's get into it. So um, if you are a pageant lover, you have already seen the video that was released and leaked um, in the video. It is people who are within the Miss Universe organization um, that includes its president or the owner of Miss Universe um, or part owner now of Miss Universe organization and who is a Thai descendant or a Thai um, business woman who is happened to be a trans woman. So on that video, I'm just going to break it down before I make my own comments and opinions. In that video, she is um, implying that um, she is obviously she has this inclusivity that there is no age limit. Um, everyone can enter. It doesn't matter how short you are, how tall you are, how full figured you are. Um, mothers can enter as well. Trans women can enter as well. Um, so yeah, that is the whole thing. And a lot of people were happy that this thing will be happening within the Miss Universe. And on my side, I was like, there is something wrong that is happening within this organization. And um, I can tell you right now, in one of my videos, I think it was a live video whereby I was talking about um, there is something wrong with the um, last edition of Miss Universe um, contest. And um, a lot of, of, of some of the people that were commenting on my actual life, they were saying that I'm lying and all of those things and there's nothing wrong. The, it, this competition is not rigged and all of those things. And I was telling them that there's something definitely wrong with this whole thing. And since N took over the organization, we will see more and more drama. Everything will go. Everything will fall apart. This woman is out here trying to actually... Um, advertise herself and advertise her business ventures more than any other thing. She is not here for anything else other than trying to advertise herself and obviously earning money or monetize her businesses through Miss Universe. As you all know that Miss Universe has got a huge following um, as part of the pageantry. We love pageants. We've, we, there's a lot of people who are like me who have been um, following Miss Universe for the longest time. Um, friends from around the world, friends from um, Asian countries, such as the Philippines, um, such as um, Thailand, where she comes from, such as a lot of Indonesia, a lot. 
um, India, a lot of places um, who are actually loving this beauty pageant. And it's very popular. And um, in order for you to win this title, you have to know your story. And it has always been like that until Anne decided to buy this organization. And now we are within this mess. So as I broke down the whole video, um, there's a lot of things that were said there. Um, and um, another thing, one thing that caught my attention, and I think it caught a lot of people's attention. She said that we can bring all these people. It is like a facade. We bring all these people, inclusivity and all of those things, but they are not going to win. And people who are going to win are people who are going to become influencers or people that are actually are influencers within the media or social media um, platforms, people who, are, who will be able to sell these products that we have. I've never seen their products. I, I really wouldn't even go and buy those products from Miss Universe because I don't care. The only thing I care about is Miss Universe. We cannot run away from the fact that Miss Universe organization is a business and um, in a business world you need to make sure that the business um, do well in order for you to um, to do well in front of the whole um, in front of your customers or your consumers and all of those things and I don't fault them for trying to work within their business means uh, for trying to grow the business but the way that they are growing this business the way that they are doing things is so unethical to the point that i just felt like <sighs> i don't know if i want to still do videos about miss universe or not um must i find something else must i find another pageant that is um, actually different from miss universe i am not sure but um, i'm telling you right now i when i look at um countries like the philippines that they put a lot of um, production and all of those things, a lot of effort in trying to find this one lady that will represent the Philippines to actual uh, Miss Universe. The same Miss Universe that snubbed one of theirs last year. The same Miss Universe. That is the same Miss Universe. They are not begging down. I'm, I'm following Miss, Miss Universe Philippines right now. And obviously the season has started and all of those things. And I see the hard working and the effort that they do um, behind closed doors and all of those things. Um, I see there's a lot of effort. And now there's this video. Tell me how are these women who are vying for that Miss Universe Philippines um, crown, how are they feeling when these news are coming out? Obviously, Anne decided to come out and um, or the organization decided to come out and was um, lambasting all the claims and stuff like that. I don't know. Do you think that it is um, a fake video? It's not a fake video. How do you make that video to be fake that video looks real you cannot make it up you cannot make it up and that statement that they made just left me with so many questions rather than believing what they said there was a lot of questions and there was a lot of questions when i look back to the last miss universe edition i was like no man this there's something wrong just look at the top five Look at the top five of Miss Universe 2023. There was one lady who was a mother and she worked super hard. She was one of my favorites, actually. She was one of my favorites. And I was like, this woman might take this. And it was all the act. You remember in the top 20, there was a trans woman. In the top 20, we had a trans woman. We had a woman with a child. We had... um. We had, um, yeah, we had a trans woman, a woman with a child, um, obviously. And it was like, oh, we also had a, a, a plus size woman within that top 20. And it, when I think about it, it was just a play. It was just for fun. It was just for us to say, oh, inclusivity, inclusivity, to capture what? To capture the sponsors, to capture people, to, to to really monetize every single thing in order for us to believe that Miss Universe organization is inclusive. Whereas they know in the back doors, 
it's not inclusive. They know the winner already. They know who they want to, 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 to take. And I don't want to discredit the current Miss Universe. She deserved to she deserved to win, but there are certain things that I don't agree with. Within the QA, I did not agree with a lot of things. Within the whole top ten, there were th certain things I did not agree with. With the top five, I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. I'm not surprised with the whole claims or with the whole things that were said in that video. I'm just disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed. On behalf of the girls that would like to wear that crown one day as Miss Universes, I'm so shattered. I'm so shattered. That's the only word that I can use right now, that I'm so shattered and disappointed by the Miss Universe organization. These girls who are vying for these crowns in their national or provincial or whatever, till, till the end, which is the Miss Universe stage, they work super hard. They also spend a lot of money trying to win or trying to get their one-time dream. And this dream... If it comes true, it will change their lives forever. And what? N decides to shatter those dreams with only one video. Obviously, in that video, she doesn't even know that someone is recording them. She doesn't know if someone is recording, but I thank the person who did. I thank the person who did fully because we wouldn't know we would always have a perception that oh my gosh why is this person in the top five and that one is not in the top five year in year out i said it on one of my videos that i do not think that a plus size will be crowned miss universe and i do not think that a woman with a child will be crowned miss universe and also i don't think a trans woman is going to win miss universe which i was against from the beginning that trans women should be entering these um, women pageants i was against it i i'm still against it i'm not gonna lie about it i'm not i don't have a problem with trans women but i i have a problem that they are actually forced into women's um, activities with biological women activities that they fought to get in so many decades so many centuries women were oppressed and within just a short space of time that we know that there are trans women, they are able to penetrate an industry that was difficult to be penetrated by biological women. And obviously, Anne Khan is a trans woman. Who happens to, in, to insult those, those women, those trans women? She, decide, she decided to insult those trans women within that video. She insulted a lot of people. So that means you go there, you are so many, and then you have to, to advertise their products. And then after that, it's bye, we are done with you, you are not a winner, go home. You are done doing what? Advertising their own brand. Swimsuits, skincare, water, whatever that they're selling. Who cares about those things? We don't want to see those things. They could have come up with something different. Now they want to come up with a reality TV show. Where do you know this reality TV show? Miss South Africa. But theirs, it's so ethically incorrect. It doesn't have any good ethics. No morals. It's just a, ma a money-making ma machine that she wants to use each and every candidate who worked super hard to get where they are and then after that they, she spits them just like a bubble gum. That's what she wants to, that's what she's saying on that video. Literally, that's what she's saying. That we use them, we spit them after that, we get our winner because we already know who the winner is. You know why I like about the era, um, the, 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 the Trump era. We knew that she, we knew that he looked for a certain type of beauty. It was so fixed in a certain type of beauty. That's it. He didn't want this type of beauty. He didn't want to include these people and, and, and that, those people and whatever. He just wanted a certain type of beauty and that's all. And we knew that. We knew that he wants someone who is tall. He wants someone who is like petite and all of those things. And no trans women and all of those things that were, were allowed with 
within and he wanted a certain amount he wanted uh, these certain ages to enter the miss the miss universe we knew that one it was not a hidden thing but this one without that video we were not going to have a sense of knowledge that n is actually conspiring behind these contestants back i still i'm still asking myself why was australia within that top five and why was thailand within that top five i will leave you with that information or with that actual question why some of these people that we with are within the top 10 were in that top 10 in the first place why the good speakers were cut off within that top 10 and they were not able to commence to top five. That's the Miss Universe organization for you. Please let me know what you think on the comment sections. I will see you on my next upload. Have a fantastic one. I love you so much. Thank you so much for more people that are subscribing on this channel. I cannot wait to make all this video with you. Have a fantastic one. Peace out.